What's going on everybody? Noble here with you guys today. In today's video, we're gonna be talking about the Xbox Series S, the X, PlayStation, and all that good stuff. But we're gonna keep it as short as possible. Recently, uh, there was a price leak that came out for the Xbox Series S, and we have a little bit more information on it now. So I just wanna give you guys the information that you need. I'm not gonna to try to waste your time or anything like that. Uh, the Xbox Series S, design has finally been leaked along with a confirmation for the price the price for the xbox series s is going to be 299 us dollars so 300 bucks whereas the xbox series x is going to be 499 uh, which is right around that 500 dollar price range that i've been talking about forever uh, the xbox series s and the x are supposed to be launching around november 10th which is absolutely fantastic for me because that's right around my birthday uh, which is November 13th, if anybody cares, you guys want to pitch in, maybe uh, send me some birthday wishes and whatnot, that'd be great. Also, they are planning on putting out the Xbox consoles with uh, Xbox All Access, which is a thing that they've had in beta in the past. And with that, you can go ahead and get the Xbox Series S for $299, but for $25 a month. Or you can upgrade to the Xbox Series X, again, $500 price point, or $35 a month with Xbox All Access. Now, the only thing that sucks right now is that uh, we don't have any pricing information for the PlayStation 5, which we are gonna be getting uh, both sets of consoles. We're gonna be getting Xboxes, we're gonna be getting Playstations. Uh, we're really excited for it. I really wanna know what PlayStation's price point is. I'm going to assume that it's gonna be around $500 as well, and hopefully it comes out around the same time. Now, me and the wife have talked about it. Uh, it looks like we may be getting three Xboxes, which sounds like a ridiculous uh, amount of consoles, but we're gonna be getting two Xbox Series X, one for me, one for her, and then possibly an Xbox Series S for the living room for uh, just watching movies and playing other games whenever I'm not trying to record. So the only thing left to wait for is uh, PlayStation. Again, I'm assuming it's gonna be around the $500 price point. I'm planning on getting uh, the one without a disc drive. Uh, I'm not really concerned about discs or anything like that, but I just wanna put this information out there for you guys. What do you guys think? I know that there's a lot of, especially on Twitter. Oh my God, Twitter is always such a, a shit storm, but there's always people arguing PlayStation's better, Xbox is better. You guys are both wrong. The best console that you guys can get is the one that you guys have where you play your games, where you play with your friends. I really don't care about consoles. I'm gonna be getting them either way. But I do wanna know, what do you guys think you're going to be getting? Is the price point for the Xbox Series S or X uh, around what you thought it was going to be? And uh, are you guys planning on picking them up on day one? Let me know in the comments down below. Um, as far as if you guys need any more information on this, I will leave a link in the description so you guys can get all the detailed information that you need. But uh, I, I'm not sure if they've released the actual specs for the Xbox Series S. Uh, I do wanna know what that is. Although, like I said, it's the least powerful console. I'm not really all that concerned about it. I just wanna go ahead and pick one up to have as a extra place to watch TV in the living room. So again, just let me know what you guys think and uh, hopefully things go well and we will have all of these bad boys day one. See you guys in the next video as always. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.